Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Place Hollow Knight. Literally just came back up to uh, Dirtmouth here to spend some of our coins, and then this guy was here, so let's see what he has to say. Pale thing, you wear that nail with ease. If you're in search of combat, you'll find no great warriors in this decaying burrow. I've heard an arena exists somewhere below, one built for our like. Meet me there and we'll test what skills you possess. I'll be heading down soon, come and find me if you dare. Okay, cool. And then this guy's back here too. It's been a while since we've been back in town. You there? Why are you skulking about in the shadows? Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. I am Zot the Mighty, a knight of great renown. Tremble before me. While you were hiding here in your dingy, dingy little village, I ventured into the dark pit below us and slew a great beast that had sharp mandibles and atrocious manners. Yes, yes, all glory to me, but I don't have time for your adulation. I must rest and prepare for my next journey down. Um, air is deadly down in the caverns. Dreams. What else you got to say? What a squalid little hamlet this is, sure. All right, just want to exhaust their dialogue. Um, you got anything new? Did you visit that temple, the strange building I'd, I'd heard? Though I'd never dare the journey myself. The braver among us once went there to pray and said they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. All right, so somebody's gone hollow down there. A young couple's recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems they're running a map shop, which may excite adventurous types like yourself. The way she has to bend just to get through that door, I wouldn't put up with it myself. Oh, God, Many used to get blah blah blah, you get the idea. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Anything else? Anything else? Fungal Grove, yeah. No, I'm with you, dude. We found the Fungal oh, Grove. God. Feeling tired? That bench is comfortable. Plus, I enjoy the company. Alright, I mean, we could rest. Might as well. Alright, sick. We have exhausted your dialogue. Let's see what we got going on inside the map shop. This is not the map shop. This is uh, our trinket shop. Mask shard. I don't know what it does. Vessel fragment. A piece of a soul vessel. Maybe the more the more of those you have, the bigger your soul uh, vessel is. That seems sensible. Simple key. It will fit a variety of locks. And then these are um, charms. This is not a charm. Lumafly lantern will guide your way. Stalwart Shell grants you more time to recover after taking damage. Do you find yourself leaving a lot of Geo behind as you hurry through the caverns? This charm makes sure that any loose change finds its way back to you. Hmm. I don't know if we actually really want much of that. Um, we might just want to buy pins from the map maker. Because well, we're already stacked on... Uh, we're already stacked on our uh, on our charms for now. Do we have to use the pins? I don't know. Let's try it. Let's buy a bench pin. Let's buy a cocoon pin. Let's buy all of the pins. That way, it seems like they're not single use only, so we'll never have to use them. We'll never have to buy them again. And this passively will make my life a little bit easier. So I think that that's a good use of our money for now. And if we look at our map, um, is it all pinned up now? It is all pinned up. Okay. I like that. We could buy some more stuff. It's not like we're doing anything else with it right now. So what if we, um, what if we buy like a key from this guy? It seems like it could be a waste of money. Maybe we should just save up for the Lumafly Lantern instead. But I'm gonna try it. And, uh, I'm gonna hope that that functions almost like a master key from Dark Souls and just allows us to open up whatever we want. Because there is this door over here. I'm not sure if it's gonna open with the City Crest or if it's gonna open with, um, the simple key we bought or something else altogether. But this might open up a new area for us. Use simple key. A door with a simple lock. Use a simple key? Yes. Alright, what, what goes on inside of this place, you know? Really? Oh, excuse me, hello. Welcome, small intruder. I've been sound asleep in here for some time. Some time? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Well, now you've gone and woken me up. It's no matter, I suppose. I might even be able to help you. I am Gigi, and if you found your way into my chamber, you must need my help. You see, sometimes we leave our regrets behind in the world like black stains. If we don't deal with these regrets, hope starts to drain from us. Do you have any regrets of your own? Let me peer into you for a moment. Oh, you don't appear to have any lingering regrets. How lucky for you. You don't need the services of one such as I. What? So I'm guessing this is like, if we leave a blood stain down in the in the depths below we may want to use her services in order to uh, in order to placate that maybe we can get our uh, we can get our uh, 
souls back without actually having to go down there. I actually just called them souls on ironically. We can get our Geo back without having to go down there. Um, in case it's in a, a place that is otherwise inaccessible for us. But I don't know, what are we gonna, maybe she gets like 50% of the souls or something. The Geo, sorry. Um, figured we'd just come back around this way. Uh, I just want to check out, like, maybe there's some areas that I missed here, and now that we have the, uh, now that we have the air dash, we might be able to take advantage of them. We do still want to kill enemies, although it's not, uh, high on my list to kill these guys. They drop, like, three Geo each. But at least we'll get some practice with the combat, which, to be honest with you, uh, strikes me as being pretty valuable because of the amount of damage that I've taken. Especially over the last episode, I was getting to the point where I was a little displeased with some of that damage that I took, and, uh, I was... Finding myself being, if I'm, oh, hello. Finding myself, if I'm being honest, a little embarrassed. This guy should be dead very soon. That was completely my bad. That was even worse. Have we already been here? Like, we've seen these little altars all over the world here. I must have already been here. Maybe upon rediscovering, though, this guy gets uh, respawned or something. So now we want to kill these guys and get our soul back. Now, have we been through here? Certainly this area is accessible without requiring... This seems new. Okay. Oh, hello again. Hello again? Are you still running around? Why not join me down here? There's plenty of wealth in these rocks for anyone willing to put a bit of work in. Those crystals out there are worth a fair bit, but I have a feeling that there's something even more valuable hidden just a bit deeper, and I can almost smell it. You're welcome to join me, or if you don't feel like digging, you can just sit around and sing with me. Ha ha ha. Okay, so she has a song. This is hard work, but I don't mind down here. I can keep working even without sleeping. Um, okay, so this lady strikes me as maybe she's going a little bit batty. Felt like a secret there, but I've been around before. There's some kind of elevator. Oh, and this is uh, Soul, which is extremely useful for me right now because I am a baddie. There we go. So we at least get two HP out of that. Um, and we'll start going up here. Are we in uncharted territory? Perhaps. Maybe we just need to rest to get our map handled again. Not a secret. Maybe something comes down the top of this elevator? I have played the Souls games. The elevators are a, a linchpin for many a secret. Oh! These things are going to break. Are we content to fall here? We must later get like a down smash or something that allows us to go through these. It's the only thing that makes sense. It's like when you walk on it, it trembles, but it doesn't actually break. It doesn't seem like I can just strike it to break it. So yeah, I'm assuming we get some kind of like downward smash ability that allows us to go through there. All right, so if that's uh, if that's that, then really there's only a couple more things that uh, I think we need to check out here before I feel content that we're like safe to leave this area and go back to the, uh, the verdant kind of village thing. And that's this right area over here where you can see that there's some... Uh, Maybe air dashing opportunities, but it's possible that it might be a little bit of a red herring in and of itself. But now's the time for exploration, I think so. Doesn't it? Wait, wait, wait. No, because we just went through there, right? Like that's where we were. All right. Um, so we should be able to. Oh no, we can't go through this area yet, right? We need to hit that switch by coming up from the other side. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I do sort of wish there was a teleport, but that might take away from the uh, exploratory, you know, I don't want to say ambient, but atmospheric tone of the game. At least we can take a chance to heal up here. Hopefully this charm proves to be useful for us because uh, we didn't pay for it. But I did spend a lot of time having to recover our corpse after picking it up. It's 100% on me. Yet still. So what are we looking for right now? I mean, we're looking for new areas, but we're also looking for um, 1800 uh, Geo, because that'll allow us to get the lamp. And there was that area uh, that was completely dark to us, and I'm assuming once we have the lamp, it might just be a secret area, but it might hold uh, 
you know, untold wealth or something that maybe we can use to further ourselves throughout the game here. Who knows? So for now, I'm heading downwards. There is, it's like map town through here. And maybe the air dash has opened up another area. I don't know if we're done with the uh, the green area yet, but ain't got malaria yet and the blood type red. Ooh, okay. Head downwards here if we can. The boss is this way. And was there something in here that we could have? Ah, oh, there was, okay. There we go. Okay, so air dash has handled a new section for us here. I thought there was something in this area that was previously unavailable to us. And now we're in like a weird old, uh, like mushroomy type area. Mushrooms, I'm also not a big fan of. So chalk it up, you know, mushrooms and jellyfish. What's going on here? Okay, again, we must get a downward smash at some point that helps us there. What's this area called? Fungal waste. Okay. Sounds legit. A little bit of a uh, rakish tune being told right now. Please don't explode. Beautiful. Stop. I guess this is what we're going to do this episode is explore this. I had no idea we'd encounter an area so large, but it's not necessarily a bad thing by any stretch of the imagination. It appears that there's something down in this area, and we've got no choice but to be exploratory. I'm assuming that water will probably uh, be not healthy for us to get into. Any water that bubbles in a video game tends to not be uh, potable. These guys are also dead, so that's a pretty good sign that maybe this environment is a little inhospitable. I hate mushrooms, dude. I'll eat them from time to time, but the concept of mushrooms... Oh, that's a bench. <laughs> the concept of mushrooms, a little gross. It's one neural net under the ground. Do not try to sneak past me. I can smell you. Did you collect a lot of geo? Give me geo and you can see something nice. All right, I will pay you 86 to see something nice. Let me show you then, take a look. Do you want them? If you really, really want them, I'll trade them for geo, more geo. Ah, so he's opened up a store. This is a precious thing, a beautiful charm. I made it for you. If you hold it, you'll feel a lot healthier. If you're afraid of dying, you need this charm. Very special and valuable charm. Do you want to find more Geo? Hold this charm and go hunting. You're weak, aren't you? If you should give me Geo, or sorry, you should give me Geo. If you do, I'll give you this charm I made. It will make you stronger. Your enemies will fear you at last. So I'm assuming that um, those charms seem really good. I'm imagining one of them probably gives us more HP, and one of them probably gives us more strength. And one of them probably gives us, uh, essentially, more greed. I could use more HP. My, more greed, I mean more Geo find. But, um... I could use those, but I also like where we're at right now. Although, I will admit, we don't really need to have the compass right now. Because we don't have a map active. But does that mean I want to spend all of my available Geo on getting, like, a, a health up trinket? Maybe, maybe not, right? So that's basically the question. You've, you've figured it out for yourself right there. Thank God for this air dash. It's now like seamlessly integrated itself into the language of locomotion here. Where are we going? Cannot bounce on that. Okay, okay, we've angered the Mushroom King. We've angered his Mushroom Prince as well. That cannot be good. I almost called it his Mushroom Head, but I, I resisted the urge. Alright, heal up. Now we've only got one of these guys. That should make life easier. Get your toxic spores out of here, my dude. I imagine that is going to hurt quite a good deal. Alright, made it through there. Actually got like 50 each for killing those guys. This door opened up. We get a new charm? Charm, no oh, we got a new charm notch. Does that mean we can actually hold another one right now? It does, okay. So now I understand the inventory system. By, um, our, our number of charm notches indicates the total number of charms we can hold. Each charm takes between one and two notches, or maybe more later, but between one and two notches right now. So if that's the case, I actually will go back and uh, 
we'll spend for an HP upgrade that we could maybe uh, use. Or, and you know what? Maybe we should spend for more Geo. Let's see what this guy's got going on. Please don't make me spend 80-something to shop every time. Uh, let's, let's try Fragile Heart. I'll buy it. I'll equip it, and let's see what it does. Because if it gives us another heart container, that would be useful for me right now. So let's go to our inventory, and um, it costs two, so we actually can't equip it and the Balder Shell simultaneously. So let's kick this one out, and then put on... Oh, the Soul Catcher costs two as well. And the Fragile Heart costs two as well. The heck, dude? Well, what, what does it do for us? It, oh, it gives us two more? It gives us two more heart containers. Even though we can only keep one equipped now. Or, well, wait a minute, that's not true, is it? No, even though we can only keep the uh, the compass and one other one equipped. That's still pretty good. So we'll, we'll look for more notches as we progress. But I do think that two heart containers is a fairly nice uh, improvement for me here. And, and certainly, uh, I've needed those. No, not again. All right, we'll fight these guys again. See if we can't learn something. We're just kicking the crap out of this dude this time. Like that, I'm almost a little embarrassed by how well that went, but at least we've only got to fight one. Our soul is all the way up there. Hopefully we find Map Man down here soon to get a little bit more structure to our, uh, Hopefully that opens something, but get a little bit more structure to our exploration. You can tell I'm 100 years old because I'm like having fun exploring the world, and then I'm like, you know what would really help out here? A little bit of structure. I feel like I'm directionless. So we've slayed that mushroom. Oh, I almost had him. And yeah, I'm start. The more I come down here, the more I'm like, you know, that heart container seemed like it was a sound choice. I haven't fought these guys before. Maybe they explode or emit spores or something like that. Seem like they might just be a basic uh, mob type. Ah, they're tanky. Okay. They take four hits, which is a lot for us right now, honestly. So let's keep our eyes on the prize. You know, from my um, from my detective skills, what do I think we need right now? There's got to be some kind of secret down there. As uh, Enya's Sail Away plays on in the background. Um, I feel like... We need some kind of like hover or flight ability or uh, maybe like some kind of water item to be able to handle the lake that we couldn't get past. So if that's going to be like the next area after the, the spore area down here, we need some way to deal with that. So that's probably our next, uh, the next thing we're looking at, I think. Nick told me there are literally hundreds of secrets in this game, so... At this point, I have probably failed to find about uh, 90% of them. 90% of the ones I've even seen, is what I mean to say there, but... You know, we'll come across them ambiently, hopefully, throughout uh, our progress. Okay, this is where we came down from before, because um, we hit that switch. And I don't know what that switch does, except it illuminates the LEDs on our brand new Alienware. Alright, you're shooting some kind of spore in me, and if I hit it, it explodes and does two damage. So that's, uh, that's no good. So we'll just try to get out of here as fast as we can. Oh, okay. Um, I've noticed there's a door down here. I wonder if I need to hit the switch again. Okay, I, I, again. It, something has gone fundamentally wrong inside of my human mind. I was thinking maybe if we hit the switch at the top, then, uh... That might open that door, and then we can work around it later. Okay, these are new enemies. He does explode, which means they are actually not new enemies. We've seen them many times before, as recently as the last episode. My mistake. Because we got rid of the Balder shell, we got hit there. Um, we can't come up that way, so... Yeah, don't, don't do that. You're being very silly. We need to go this way. And then we can use the air dash to get across. Got enough to heal times two. Oh. In fact... No, that's where we came in. I thought I was a genius for making that jump. But uh, no such luck, unfortunately. 
Are you new? You are also not new. Okay. I would love to stop and smell the roses here, but uh, not the right time. Not the right time. Please be another notch. Hollow nest seal. Okay. What is the hollow nest seal? Oh, these things are still coming, huh? So we'll probably check in on those later. We also got the city... Oh, it wasn't the city seal. It was the city crest. So these might be two different item types. We still haven't found what to do with the city crest as well. I know the city is alive and the city is expanding and living in the city can be demanding. Probably should not have destroyed that sign. In hindsight. Um, I'm surprised we haven't found Map Man yet. He's been readily available in the previous areas in which we've looked. Queen's Station. Are you a friendly person? You are. Isn't this something? I'm not expected to discover so huge a stank station after that foggy descent. The bugs of Hallownest must have been an impressive lot building such grand structures so far into these wilds. Seems the dangerous creatures about haven't yet made their way in here. It's the perfect place for a quick rest. So it's another hub world. Interestingly enough. Is there a map store here? Okay. I would like to access that. At least I didn't fall to my death here. That's not a bench. I gotta figure out the language of these signs, because as of right now, I'm not doing a great job of getting the ambient language here. Okay, this is back into Fog Canyon. So we've now found two separate entrances into Fog Canyon. What do these signs indicate, dude? Ooh, some kind of vendor. It looks like a fortune teller. I was just, oh, a banker. I was just about to close up shop and run until you came along. I provide a banking service if you're interested. Losing one's geo is a terrible thing, and it's mo so much more likely if you carry it on yourself. My vault is more secure, and all my time as a banker, I've never lost a single geo. Maybe you'd considered opening an account? I'm going to say no for now. It's not that I don't want to open an account. It's more that I don't trust myself without a map to be able to get back to the bank. So putting your money in the bank is probably advisable. However, it might not be advisable if you never go back to that bank. So let's just stay away from that for now. Um, there's got to be some other avenue through here. Hello? Oh, Jesus. Willow. Oh, come in search of treats, have you? I chanced upon a unique little fungus growing right above us. I found it only in this station, and the taste is just divine. This place must once have been quite the hub, built at the border between two lands. That misty drop to one side, and those bulbous growths another. Neither place seems particularly welcoming, so while my treats last, I think I'll stay right here. Yeah, yeah. Feel free to stop by any time. Company's good for one's health. Yeah, yeah. Sweet. Yeah, yeah. Hmm... Perhaps we'll find something that we can give her in exchange for goods or services later. Oh, it's a bench. And then a, a toll booth as well, or a, a toll. Symbol of a stag. Insert Geo, why not? Mostly when I get the option to... To insert Geo, I'm gonna try to insert Geo. So I don't know what I've done. Oh, where does... Fast travel. I unlocked fast travel. Oh, Greetings, little one. It's been an age since I last heard the ringing of a station bell. It echoed down the stagways and called me to you. I've grown stiff and tired over these many years. Tell me about it. Uh, and I've forgotten much, but the sound of the bell will always call me back. These stagways stretch for the depths of Hallow Nest. If you want to travel them, hail me from the platform. I will tell you where, or I'll take you where you need to go. <gasps> yes, Queen Station. You're quite the explorer. Thank you. The comments might not see it that way. Just hop aboard the platform, give me the signal, and we're good to go. Okay, where can you... You'll take me up to Dirtmouth. Beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna, we don't need to go up there right now, but at least we have this station unlocked so we can go up there in the future. But I'm still like, you know, map maker, map maker, make me a map. I had to, I had to know. I had to know. I wanted to learn in a relatively safe environment. So I'm still looking for the cartographer. Cause he's the map man. Yeah, he's the map man. Anyway, 
Let's keep going up here. See, that's me infringing on the intellectual property of the Beatles Corporation. Um, it might seem like we've accomplished less in this episode than in any previous episode, but I don't think that's the case. We just unlocked infrastructure that's going to help us out a great deal in the future. Getting that... Oh, getting that fast travel unlocked, for example, could prove invaluable. I do want... <laughs> Pardon me. I do want mapping, though. So if you could provide me with the map man and his characteristic whistling, I'd be very happy. Oh, I hit... He's done it. Please don't charge me 150. I'm just about finished charting these noxious caves. Very territorial types make their homes within this area. I'd suggest avoiding whenever possible. Sure, yes, they're intelligent. Uh, my matured physique won't be able to outrun them when they tried to turn violent. I understand that. Purchase a map for 75. Oh, my beautiful, beautiful map man. Thank you so much for your support. Okay, now what am I gonna do? Oh, I didn't mean to accidentally blast him with a vengeful spirit, but honestly, that's what, that's what you fucking get. These bounce? They do bounce. I'll make your bub-bubs bounce. I'll make your bub-bubs bounce. Let's go. Okay, we actually got a huge bounce off of them. I think you gotta strike downwards. Yeah, okay, so a downward strike allows you to get a... Whoa, God. Allows you to get a big old bounce off of them. Just gotta get a rhythm. Walk without rhythm and you, you won't attract the worm. We, when we go back, uh, I mean, first we're gonna need some more Geo to make this happen in the first place, but we should endeavor to find a, uh, oh, that, dude, I understand your language now. Um, we should, in oh, but I can't get up there, we need to get the switch. Um, I should endeavor to find a, um, a one-notch charm that could actually give us some, oh, he's mad, that could actually give us some value. Because right now, we're presently just wasting that space in our inventory. Give me a one-notch hero. Okay. We can't make it up there. There must be some kind of... Maybe we get, like, a float ability in the future. I think for now, though, we are coming up on the half-hour mark here. So I'm going to, you know, count my blessings. Consider myself pretty lucky to be in the situation in which we're in right now. Since we've gotten Map Man, uh, we're going to go back to Queen Station. And you can see there's like a boss or something over there on the right side. So we're going to go back to Queen Station. We're going to rest. And then we're going to um, start the next episode. Probably in pursuit of the boss. I think we've actually... If we haven't gotten a lot of progress on this run specifically... We have on this uh, this video, specifically, I should say, we've at least learned what our to-do list is for the next episode, and I think we've actually done some good stuff. So, also, this thing now, of course, indicates this is a station, because there's a stag on it. So now we know that that doesn't mean horny monster. That means, um, that means fast travel is uh, in there. So that's where he is right there. And this is, or maybe this is where he is, I can't remember. Yeah, this is where he is. All right, so we've rested. Uh, that's going to do it for this episode. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.